The Queen is under pressure from both the public and Parliament to strip Prince Harry and Prince Andrew of official roles as councillors of state. On Sunday the Queen tested positive for coronavirus and has been suffering with mild, cold-like symptoms but it has meant that the 95-year-old monarch's duties have been impacted as she was forced to step back in order to recover. In light of this, a new parliamentary paper has added to the pressure from the public for the Queen to strip Prince Harry of his role as Councillor of State. This role is given to five members of the royal family, the wife or husband of the monarch and the following four members who are next in line to the throne and over the age of 18. Councillors of state are supposed to step in when the monarch is unable to perform their duties for example if they are abroad or unwell. Prince Charles, Prince William, Prince Andrew, and Prince Harry currently hold the position as the passing of the Duke of Edinburgh meant that the Queen now only has four councillors of state. The role was appointed to attend to four potential issues that may arise, a monarch taking the throne under the age of 18, the monarch being permanently incapacitated, the monarch being temporarily incapacitated, and the absence of the monarch from the UK. According to the parliamentary paper, Prince Harry should no longer be eligible for the role given that the UK is no longer his permanent residence and that he has stepped back from royal life. The guidance under the Regency Act of 1937 states that all people who hold this position should be members of the royal family and importantly, must be domiciled in some part of the UK. The Regency Act of 1943 added that if it appears to the sovereign that any eligible councillor will be absent from the United Kingdom or intends to be so absent during the whole or any part of the period of such delegation, then letters patent, a legal tool at the monarch's disposal, may make provision for exempting that person. The parliamentary paper calls for Buckingham Palace to take legal steps to resolve the matter, but states that Prince Andrew still holds eligibility for the position. There is no precaution under the Act that excludes a member of the family who is no longer working royal as long as they remain in the line of succession. The fallout surrounding Prince Andrew of his connections to disgraced financier, Jeffrey Epstein, alongside the Queen stripping him of his titles and royal patronages means that the public are keen to see him removed from the role as well. It has been suggested that the two royals who should take over the position are Prince Andrew's siblings, Princess Anne and Prince Edward. It has been stated by a government source that the paper comes with the intention to give MPs all the facts and is unrelated to the Queen's health. The source told Mail Online, there's been a lot of noise about Harry and Andrew and their roles as councillors of state and it was felt important MPs had all the facts. It has nothing to do with Her Majesty being ill. Dr. Craig Prescott, a constitutional expert at Bangor University, told The Mirror, I think this should be looked at if it isn't being done already by the palace, because they certainly would want to avoid a situation where the monarchy becomes a problem for the government. Buckingham Palace has said that there has been no change to the current councillors, 